I'm Annabelle Studham. I work for the Department of Conservation and the Partnerships team in Christchurch. But today we're here on the corner of High Street and Chewham uh, for the launch of a, an artist's work, Regan Gentry's The Woods from the Trees project. And alongside that, DOCA launching uh, an app called Imagine. It's taking three uh, species that are locally extinct from Christchurch, uh, the jeweled gecko, the weta, and uh, the tui and imagining a rebuild with conservation as a part of its fabric. So looking at bringing those species back. My name's John O'Reilly. I'm the creative director of a company called Flightless. And uh, we've been working with Doc on the Imagine Project, which is a kind of augmented reality app. When we came down here, we were talking about doing just a purely kind of artistic mural on a wall. And when we got a tour around, we just realised the enormity of the scale and the noise, just the construction noise was quite amazing. So we thought if we could do something oral, you know, that, that really played on those kind of senses and gave people relief from, from the construction noise, it might be quite successful. The, the project's all about kind of engaging um, audiences and thinking about the rebuild and, you know, what if you could have a two here? I mean, uh, Doc let us know about what's going on over in Banks Peninsula where the local community out there has been kind of fostering feeding and eradication programs and now the Tui are coming back. So it was kind of piggybacking off that idea, that community idea to, to bring Tui all the way back into the city and making spaces for them here. Doc's work has traditionally been out in our conservation areas. Uh, the idea of Doc embracing the urban context is is a relatively new one. So we're on the corner of Cashel and High Street in Christchurch and this is a site that the council has offered us to create a uh, nature oasis and a transitional visitor centre. We would really love to create opportunities and partnerships so that we could be a permanent fixture in the city, so that we could have a permanent place here that we're relevant to people and that people view that Department of Conservation isn't just something that, that lives out of the city. And the work we'd like to really do here in Christchurch is work connecting the people who don't have nature as part of their regular daily lives, connecting those people to the values of nature, because those values in terms of health and well-being uh, are invaluable. Uh, so if we could all work together on this, if we could realise a city that had conservation as part of its fabric, uh, that would be a benefit to everybody, including the environment.